What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm gonna be installing some indoor air quality products on a heat pump split system today. I've actually got a, quite a few different uh, devices I'm gonna be installing. One is gonna be a UV light for the indoor coil to keep it nice and clean. Then we're gonna be doing an air purifier that goes in the supply plenum. And then we're also gonna be installing two five inch air filters down the return side. Let's do some work. All right, so here's the system that we're gonna be working on today, installing all of the indoor air quality products. Now, when you're dealing with an existing system and you're gonna be taking apart all the duct work that has been sealed properly from the initial install, you wanna make sure that you reinstall things properly and get everything sealed up really well. Now, I'm gonna be showing you how I do that with the SureTape Mastic on any metal to metal transitions. Uh, and then we have the FSK insulation that I'll be utilizing when we insulate the squirt arounds or any other metal that needs to be insulated, we'll be using this tape here. And then also the flex tape. So we're gonna have to relocate some of the flex runs like that bypass stamper, we're gonna be relocating that. So whenever I hook up that flex back, we're gonna go back with the flex tape. So let's get started. The first thing what we need to do is remove this bypass to get this out of our way. We're gonna end up relocating that to the return up there. What we're gonna do is have a transition come off the box to this five inch filter. And then we'll do a squirt around off the other side to hook back to the flex. And we're gonna do the same thing on that side. Mounted to the return boxes, it is time to get these sealed up properly before we mount them onto the unit themselves. So I'm gonna use the Sure Tape Mastic on this one. Um, they also have just a standard HVAC duct tape as well, which is UL rated. You could use either one, it would be fine. Um, but my personal preference is gonna be use the Mastic tape. So I'm gonna go ahead and get everything sealed up on this and then we can get them bolted up to the unit. So what I like to do is use a knife to get a nice clean cut on that mastic tape instead of using your fingers just to rip it. And then you get bonus points if you apply the tape with the logo right side up because it looks nice and clean. So now that I've got the squirt run attached to the box and it's sealed up good, it is time to get it insulated. I'm gonna use some of this bubble wrap insulation here and I'm gonna use the SureTape Flex Tape on this. This is a really good tape, it's quick and easy to use 
and it has a wide temperature range. So from negative 10 all the way up to 210 degrees. So even in, in this hot attic, it's not gonna be a problem. What I like about this tape is you could just use your fingers to give it a really quick little pull and it rips nice and clean for you. And a little tech tip is always fold the corner over just a little bit. So that way you don't have to worry about trying to dig it up with your fingers every time you cut it. You got that lip there and you can just keep going. All right, so once I've got the insulation all the way around and I have it taped at the base very good, what I do is I just make a slit down in the corners. I'll fold it over, fold that down, grab your stapler, and throw, throw some staples in it. And then grab some tape. There you go, just do all four corners. That's really why I like using this flex duct tape. It is just super easy to use. It's very fast and uh, you know, it just gets the job done. All right, now that I've got all four corners stapled and taped, everything looks good and tight. Now all I gotta do is take my scissors and just trim the top all the way around. That way there's enough room to hook your flex up. Alright, so for this flex duct, I'm going to use SureTape's duct tape. Now this is a UL rated tape as well, and it's their PC857. So this is going to be a good tape for this application, and we're going to go ahead and get it connected now. What you can do is go ahead and put a couple screws to where the flex won't want to come back off on you. And then what I like to do is use a little a Panduit strap all the way around, tie that up really good. <clears throat> and then what I'll do is go over that with the tape. That way it can, gives me three points of making sure this flex is not going to come off. So that duct tape does a really good job at uh, sticking to that liner and the insulation itself. So it just makes me feel good that this duct is not gonna come off in the future. So, and then once I got that all nice and sealed, pull the insulation up, and then I'm gonna go back to the flex tape to tape this where it won't come off. And it'll look nice and neat. All 
All right, so we got everything connected up here. We got the bypass, re-ran, teed into the return up there. And that way it has more time to mix with the return air before it actually hits the air handler. So we just went ahead and got everything hooked up just to get the project going. And um, yeah, everything's looking pretty good. All the returns are complete, sealed, reconnected. Job looks good. Okay, so all of the IAQ products I have today are from Ultravation. And this is gonna be a whole house air purifier that's gonna go in the supply duct. And then we have this ionizer that's gonna go at the blower section. And then we have this UV light, which is going to be mounted at the indoor coil. So let's get all these installed. All right, now that I've got the whole cut in the supply plenum for that air purifier, if you notice, I kind of messed up the insulation a little bit with the snips. So what I'm gonna do is grab the SureTape FSK. Um, this tape basically has the same style and texture as the insulation itself. So it blends in and it looks very nice. So I'm gonna go ahead and get that cleaned up before I install the air purifier. All right, so I've got the air purifier mounted, wired up. The way this one works, you can have a separate UV light that wires directly to the air purifier up there. So you just have one 24 volt power source coming into your transformer. And then I've also got the ionizer mounted over here on the side of the blower. And it's 24 volts as well. So everything ties into that one circuit and that's pretty much it. Got all the wiring and tubing looking pretty good over here. And because this coil is an end style coil, what we're gonna do is we got the one UV light here that's shining down on this section. We're gonna get one more and I'm gonna mount it here. So that way all three sections of the coil will be taken care of. But for today, we're just gonna have the one UV light. Okay, so I've got everything installed. It's looking pretty good. Doing a little bit of testing, doing a pressure drop across the filters. I'm kind of curious on what these five inch filters are doing. Um, you know, the book says they're supposed to be a 0.12 pressure drop across. Right now I'm seeing about 0 0.8, 0 0.9. So that's phenomenal. Now this is a five inch filter. It's a Merv 11 um, on a four ton system. Since we had dual returns, I wanted to put two filters on it just to you know, minimize that um, you know, filter pressure drop across the whole entire system. So I'm really pleased with how this has turned out. It looks really good. I just gotta get everything picked up and uh, load the truck up and I'm done. Really appreciate you guys coming along with me. Hit that thumbs up if you like what I'm doing. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Until next time, see you guys later.